Okay guys, welcome back to Forza Horizon 3. My name is Justin, and today we're going to be continuing on with the Let's Play series because the DLC just recently came out, so I want to continue on with that. I know I recently just said that I was going to focus more on the A through Z series, but I, I honestly forgot that this DLC was even coming out. Like, basically the day the DLC dropped, I was like, oh yeah, that's right, there's a DLC, or whatever. <laughs> I, I completely forgot it existed. Uh, there is a force thon going on right now. I am recording this. It is Saturday, December 17th at 4.55 p.m. local time, uh, 10.55 p.m. GMT. Uh, and there is a force thon going on, and there is a force thon sale as well. And I would like to go ahead and pick up a good number of these. It's a lot of off-road and rally cars and stuff like that. Uh, I didn't realize that I don't have the Audi Sport Quattro S1 because I could have gotten this for free, actually, so that's unfortunate. Uh, but I can pick it up for a 30% discount, I believe it is, uh, right now. Um, no, I don't know. I, I just, I just, yeah, just the regular color is fine with that. Now, this is new. I don't know what's going on. It says I could buy this car with credit or tokens. I don't know how many tokens I have and if I should be spending them, so I'm just going to buy it with credits. And I'll try and find out what the whole token thing is. Uh, I don't know if maybe you get tokens every time you earn a star in the DLC. Uh, that's the best that I can come up with, but um, I don't know. Uh, I don't think I want to be talking while I'm getting all of these cars, so maybe I'll just fast forward through all of it. No, I'm not even. I'm just going to go through the ones that I'm going to buy, but I'm going to buy them afterwards. Okay, so yeah, I'm definitely going to get the Audi Sport Quattro. It's $122,000. Not, not too bad. Uh, definitely gonna get this Ford Raptor race truck because it's only $44,000. Uh, 78000 for the Hummer. I might do that. I might do that. Probably will. Uh, the Delta S4 for $102,000 will probably do that. Uh, Land Rover Defender for $45,000. I will absolutely do that. Uh, the MG Metro for $87,000 possibly might do that. Uh, the Opal Manta, I'm definitely gonna buy that for $70,000. That's a, that's a steal right there. Uh, Peugeot 205 T16 for 140,000 credits? No, no, I think I'll pass on that. Uh, the Ram Runner for 55 or 53,000, I'm definitely going to get that. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go through and buy these, and I'll pick up with you guys in just a second. Oh my god, like, every other livery for this Delta is freaking Martini. Uh, Martini, 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 Martini. Martini, 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 Martini. So it is Forzathon, so I've got a couple of things that I want to do here. Uh, I need to win five races in the Illumicraft Class 10 race car uh, in order to unlock the Teradyne Gurkha LAPV. Uh, and then also I would like to do the 100 kangaroo skill to get the three wheel spins. That would be pretty nice. Um, and yeah, I don't need to do the bucket thing, the bucket list challenge if that ends in the Outback. I'm going to forget about all, about that. Uh, but I need, to, I do need to win five races in the Illumicraft, uh, Illumicraft Class 10 race car. So we're going to need to head back in here and we're going to need to buy one of those. <clears throat> I believe I saw that it was like $100,000 or something like that. And we are, of course, going to modify it because why wouldn't we? Uh, oh, gosh! <laughs> well, actually, it is the next car in the A through Z series. I thought the AMC Javelin was coming up next, but it is, in fact, the Illumicraft Class 10 race car. It just so happens. It just so happens that what the car they want me to use for the Forzathon is also the car that I needed to do for the A through Z series. Now, this is interesting. The A through Z series and the Let's Play just collided head on was a huge explosion of energy. Um, <clears throat> I need to think about this for a second. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to buy the Illumicraft. We're going to do the Forzathon events. That's going to be the Let's Play. And then immediately after that, I'm just going to go ahead and record the A through Z video for this car. Ooh, I think I like that one. That's kind of cool. Uh, hmm. Oh, there's some very interesting ones in here. Yep, I'm doing it. Yep, 
Wait, what was this one? Oh, it's also kind of Christmas themed. Uh, nope, I, I like the Coca-Cola Santa. Okay, let's see what we can do with this thing, with this Alumicraft Class 10 race car. Uh, custom upgrade, upgrade, of course, and let's see. First of all, it is rear wheel drive, if I'm not mistaken, so I'm gonna wanna go ahead and put that into all wheel drive, thank you very much. Uh, it's gonna already jump it up into A-Class. Uh, the only engine swap that's available is the 1.6 liter turbo rally, and I'm assuming I'm gonna be able to get more power out of, well, how, how much power is this again? It should be 300, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is 300 horsepower, and then I, I think you can get it up to 333 uh, if you fully upgrade it, so we're probably gonna wanna keep the stock engine. Uh, oh, you can only upgrade the brakes in here. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Uh, and then I am gonna wanna upgrade as much of this stuff as I possibly can. This really isn't gonna jump the PI very much, though. It's already got off-road tires, so nothing to do there. Oh man, it's only up to 722. Is there any sort of... I'm curious if there's any sort of uh, PI gains. Yeah, I can get I can get a PI here or there. Yeah, I can get one PI from the rims. Uh, sure, these are cool. Uh, I might be able to get some more PI with the... No, that's actually going to reduce the PI, so we're going to leave that the same. Yeah, fully upgraded, it'll go to uh, 832 PI in the S1 class, but I think I would like to, this to be a um, an A class car, so I'm going to detune it a little bit. All right, there we go. Here is the full list of parts that I'm going for, and that is going to, again, put it at the top of A class. It's now 315 horsepower, weighing in at 2,318 pounds. And again, I still don't know what tokens are, so I'm just using credits for the meantime. We have dipped below 3 million for the first time in a very long time, because I've been saving up for that 3-3 Stradale. But again, um, I would have had to purchase those cars that were on sale anyway, so I, I had to go ahead and take... Or I didn't have to, but I wanted you to go ahead and take, take advantage of that 30% Forzathon discount. Also, there wasn't any, uh, any upgrades to be made as far as... Uh aerodynamics and stuff like that. Nothing like that for this car. So, very limited on upgrades this thing is, for sure. Okay. So, we need to win... It was, it was uh, five races, right? Win five races to win the Teradyne Gurkha LAPD. Uh, yep, so what I am going to do, actually, is I am going to combine the A through Z series and the Let's Play series. So, uh, you will have known that from the title of this video already, but I've, I'm just now figuring out that uh, this is going to be episode 14 of the A through Z series, and also, I think episode 80, 90, episode 90 on the Let's Play, I think. I could be wrong about the Let's Play one, but it is definitely 14 on the A through Z series, so, um, yeah. Welcome to the first ever uh, combined Let's Play and A through Z video. Might be the only one ever. Again, it was just pure coincidence that I needed to use this car for this Forzathon, and also it was next up in the A through Z series. So yeah, whatever. Uh, we need to perform 100 kangaroo skills uh, and win five races. Now we will do kangaroo skills in the races. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's start with uh, doing the races. Okay, I've only gotten two stars at this one. There is a blizzard warning there. I don't think I want to be doing a blizzard warning right now. Uh, blizzard warning in that area as well. Come on, zoom out. <clears throat> uh, okay, no blizzard warnings here. Uh, we can do a hill climb or a descent. <laughs> uh, let's start off with a hill climb. I feel like that would be the better one to go to. And let's go ahead and fast travel there, spend the 4,000 credits. <clears throat> oh yeah, oh yeah. This this car definitely feels like it, you know, suits the environment. Uh, okay, we need to earn 100,000 skill points in order to... Yes, I will take that. Uh, in order to get the three stars. So we're going to try and make sure we bank our skills. We don't want to be running into stuff. So it's all uh, Illumicrafts and Nomads, as far as I can tell. Oh, right. Actually, I want to take a look at the gears for this car. Uh, yeah, I think it's set up... Yeah, it's, it's set up to go a bajillion miles per hour. Let's uh, take this down. Yeah, 138 seems to be pretty much as fast as this car will go. 
137. Let's just max it out all the way to the right. 137 miles per hour. So, yep, apparently if you have an Illumicraft, go ahead and just set that final drive all the way to the right. I mean, the thing seems pretty aerodynamic. I, I don't know why it why it's limited to, to those kinds of speeds. Oh, there is a Polaris in here, too. Oh, hi, sir. Oh, I went deep. Excuse me, sir. This is a crazy race. Up the inside. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. There we go. That's third. And second. Don't fly off the edge. Don't fly off the edge. Oh, I need more skill points. I can't really rewind because I need the skill points. That's a lot of skill points, though. Oh, shit, 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 shit. I wanted to be in second for that, not first. Come on, I gotta, I gotta beat this guy, otherwise all the skill, skill points are for nothing. Oh, the ice. Oh, the ice. There we go. There we go. Oh, gosh. There we go. There we go. There we go. Very nice. Three stars, first attempts. All right. Good race, too. Good race. Whoo! And everybody's very close in PI. Look at that. 796, 794, 796, 794, 799 even. Yeah, the lowest people are 794. So that is, these are some very close PIs, which I think gives much better racing generally. All right, off to a good start. So that's one race done with four to go. Uh, we've already three-starred this thing. So let's go down. What's this here? Uh, satellite pass scramble. Yeah, that sounds good. And actually, no, let's just go ahead and drive there because it's not that far away. Mate, oh, barn find. This, but sounds like somebody left a car abandoned out there on Blizzard Mountain. Yes. Go find him, eh? Boy, yes. This fella must be freezing. Uh, yeah, just fast travel there, sure. Because that's kind of far away, so sure. Okay. So, uh, I think it's just the one barn find here at Blizzard Mountain, so... Oh, there's an XP board here. Oh, there it is. Uh, oh, it's just a thousand. Whoa. That's a big drop, I think. Pretty sure that's a big drop down there. It's so hard doing the, uh, barn finds in cockpit view. I mean, it's hard doing a lot of things in cockpit view, to be honest. Uh, some of these cars don't have the best visibility. This isn't the roof of a barn, is it? Are you serious? Are you serious? Wow. <laughs> I've been getting really lucky with these barn finds recently. <laughs> yep. Definitely should have brought a jumper. Oh, what is this? Wait. I think that's a harvester scout. Isn't that the one I already have? How did it get here? Not even here is in the mountain, here is in Australia. Or whatever, let's get him back to a warm garage. Yeah, that's the car that I already got for free. 
I'm very confused right now. Is there something different about that right. one? No. It is a harvester yeah, it says International Scout 800A. That's the exact car that they already gave me. All right, Blizzard Mountain Satellite Pass Scramble. There is legitimately a blizzard going on right now. Wow, they want me to earn 200,000 skill points in order to get a, uh, in order to three-star this one. We are currently at 43 out of 50 stars, so we need seven more um, for our next uh, set of unlocks. Should be pretty much the exact same type of people that I was up against in the previous race. This is the second race now in the Illumicraft. Have to say, I am enjoying the car so far. It's sort of like a less powerful, you know, it's like an A-class version of my Nomad, which we know is very good. Uh-oh. Okay. That's actually worked out pretty well. Get out of the way, Polaris. Oh yeah, I need to make sure I bank my skill points here. I could hear him right behind me. I knew he was there. Oh, hi. Oh, my God. Excuse you, sir. Sure, that's one way to take that corner. There's a patch of ice right here. Uh oh. That's gonna lose me a position or two. But again, I don't want to rewind because uh, I need to keep these skill points. Oh, much better run than that Polaris. Bye bye. This is a good haul of points, too. That corner is banked. It's got a camber to it, so I think I could actually carry quite a bit more speed in there than I have been doing. Oh gosh, oh gosh, the ice caught me out there big time. Ice caught me, oh no, no, really? I missed the checkpoint even? Re oh, really? <laughs> wow, I really did go wide there. I need 34,000 skill points.
No, no. Oh, God. No. No. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I think this is enough skill points. Come on. Come on. Please be enough. Please be enough. Please be enough. I wasn't even looking at the amount of skill points that I was getting. More cowbell. Needs more cowbell. Woo! That was intense. Wow, we're gonna get 17,000 experience from that. It's gonna put us up to level 151 and we will get a spin. Uh, I do see two pinks in there, so hopefully we don't get one of those. Uh, Rolls Royce Wraith, I don't believe I have one of those. Always nice to win expensive cars. And are we going to get the three stars? I think it was 200,000. I think it was. Yes, yes. Oh, man, I think it might have been close. I really think it might have been close. Okay, got another, a little snow park cross-country circuit. It's a very tiny little baby circuit. It's just a little baby. Just a little baby circuit. So this is a snow park. Six ultimate air skills. Uh, oh, wait. Nope. Yeah, I want to choose whatever. Yeah, let's just do a Lumicrafts and nothing else. Just just a Lumicrafts. I should have said it to anything goes for the lulls, for the bants. Whoa! 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 Oh, those are solid. Those are solid walls. I am having a hard time seeing here with all this spray. Okay, so is it two jumps per lap, and I need to nail nail them every single time? Wow. Wow. This course is crazy. Yeah, so there's that, so I, yeah. I need to nail, if I mess up even one of the jumps, I won't get three stars. So scared about landing these jumps every time. All right, last lap. There we go. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, no, it gave it, it gave it to me. It gave it to me. We're all right. It says completed. That's all that matters. Woo! Huh. I really defended that inside line at the final hairpin. Yeah, I really like this car actually. Like I said, it's 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 like a toned down version of the Nomad which I've already driven before. Um, and th I, I made this all-wheel drive. I don't think I made the Nomad all-wheel drive. I, drive. I believe I left it rear-wheel drive. 
Um, so it's not really a fair comparison, but obviously they're similar cars. They race in the same sort of class. If you race in one, chances are you're going to be seeing the other uh, being driven by the AI. It's going to be another three stars. All right, Blizzard Mountain Snow Forest Descent is what we're going to be doing next. Oh, crap. What was it again? Uh, three ultimate clean racing skills. I feel like I get those pretty regularly, so I uh, shouldn't have too much trouble getting those. I believe this is now the fourth race. Uh, now, I could have just been doing the same race over and over, I'm sure, uh, with this uh, with this buggy thing, and that probably would have counted, but that's no fun. I, wa I want to do... I, like I said, this is the Let's Play and the A through Z all at the same time. Ha ha ha. Uh... Okay, yeah, this is, there's no clean racing skills happening here right now. How have I not gotten one? There we go. Oh, I lost those skills. Oh man, that ice. Why am I... the front end was lifting up on my car. I still only have one. There we go. There we go. There we go. Well, that's only going to be two stars. <laughs> that Polaris. Uh, it's only going to be two stars, but that's all right. We only needed one more in order to get the next round of unlocks. So we're going to still pick a different race. I'm not going to just redo this one. We'll try it again in a different vehicle at some point in the future. And we might level up from this potentially. Nope, we are very close though. We will level up after the next race. Oh, I'm sorry. We just leveled up right now. And then also we're going to level up after the next race. I have been banking a lot of these uh, wheel spins though Boss, and, and skill points. Never doubted you, mate. Here's what we've got lined up next. Doing anything goes. This should be hilarious. I don't... I mean, the... the <laughs> The AI can't really pick a car that's more suitable to these conditions in the A-Class than the car I've got. So I assume I'm about to walk all over these these guys, like hardcore. Uh, what is that? <laughs> that's a GT86. That was a uh, Mercedes 190E. That's uh, the old Holden Ute or whatever. Uh, yep. Got a WRX, though. Okay, and some more. Yeah, okay. There we go. Some of Lumicrafts. Yep. Oh, the Holden is holding its own. Ha ha. Ha ha. 
Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm supposed to be doing kangaroo stuff. Oh, gosh, the ice. The ice. Oh, man. Yeah, there hasn't been a lot of circuits on the open water like that. I'm glad this one has it. Or open ice. Open frozen water. Oh, yeah, this is a challenge. This is definitely a challenge. Oh, yeah. This is fun. I like this. I like this. I wish more circuits had this. That should have been three. Come on, come on. Come on, one more. No? Oh, come on, really? God damn it. Why are these not giving me kangaroo things? I don't understand. Maybe I don't understand what the kangaroo achievement is, but whatever. Why am I just nose diving over this thing? What is going on with this car right now? Oh, really? 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 <laughs> No king, really? Four kangaroo things in that entire race? Whatever. Whatever. I'm just gonna take the two stars. There we go. That was five races in the Illumicraft. Is that a level up? Yeah, that's right. Level 153. So we will get another wheel spin in this episode here. Could get the GT Horizon Edition, the Ford GT Horizon Edition. I see a couple pinks in there. <gasps> yes! It's a credits boost as well. Very nice. Very, very nice. I am very, very, very happy about that. I think I'm going to sell that crappy Jag, the XKR, or whatever it was. I've already forgotten the name of it. All right, challenge completed, reward collected for the whatever it's called. I still need to do the 100 kangaroo skills, though. So uh, at this point in the video, I'm just going to drive around. I'm just going to drive around. And roll the car a whole bunch. Oh my god. Yep. Yep. I'm dead. Super dead. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. It is... Wow. Holy crap. Look at these conditions. I mean, I actually cannot see anything. Oh my god, the lights! Oh, they're so bright! Oh, this is a drift zone. I thought it was a speed zone. My god! No, I'm sorry! Oh, 
What is going on with this lighting? Oh, what is that? What? Ow! Ow! Ah! Oh, is that you, God? What? What? What is that? Ah! Oh, I'm just gonna drive towards it. It's burning my soul. Oh no, it's gone. God has left us. How does one kangaroo? My god, look how good this game looks. I mean, come on. Okay, so final say on the Illumicraft, good car, solid. Uh, it's, it's pretty much exactly what you would expect though, not a surprise. We've seen that with several cars, certainly. Whoa, some weird graphical things going on there. Um, we've certainly seen that before in the past, so yeah, nothing too surprising when it comes to that. Um, it's, uh, it, it, it's a good car. It's a good off-road car. It's a, it's a good A-class car. Again, you can't really get it much higher than A-class, so I don't think anybody would ever use this as an S2-class car. Uh, and it handles off-road well. You know, it, it'll handle pretty much anything you throw at it. It does seem prone to roll, but overall, it's a good car. So, uh, yeah, if you guys are looking for this type of vehicle, you know, if you're in the market, um, I, I would say it's more or less the same as the Nomad. I think the Nomad has a higher ceiling, though. I think you can go further with it. But if you're just looking for something around the 800 PI level, uh, this is a good choice. So that's going to do it for this uh, first and possibly last ever combo episode of the Let's Play and also A through Z series. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.